Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Foolcraft today. And today's plan is to follow one of the suggestions that was received in the comments. And this one is to make a more of a, an aesthetic or decorative ore smelting system using uh, conveyor belts. And I thought that was kind of a neat idea. So in our ore smelting area, we have you know, our regular big smelter. And we have our furnace over here, which is it's pretty basic. But what I'm thinking about doing is having on this side, this wall here, be a system where you put in your material, you'll see the ore kind of dispensing out, probably through some, some sort of dropper timer mechanism, goes on a conveyor belt over, comes over here, and you'll see it go into a uh, smelting system, it smelts, and then you see the byproducts coming out and going into an output, okay? That's what I think will be kind of cool. So that's the plan today, is we're gonna work on that. So one of the first things I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some conveyor belts, which I've never made before. So let's go see how you make that. So if we link this up, conveyor, is it is a conveyor belt, is that what it's called? See, that's the thing I don't really know. I've never really used it. Um, so I have to go and look, I don't see it here. No, nope, it's none of this. So how do you make a conveyor belt? Convey. There it is. Slow conveyor or fast. Let's make slow ones because we really don't need to have um, going fast. We want this to be visual. So we have three track and three iron rollers for eight. So we're going to need a lot of this track. Track takes black leather. Black leather takes leather and ink. Okay, well, we can do that. Let's make a bunch of that. So we hit the button. We'll pull in here eventually. Make a couple. Now let's make a stack. We'll make it that. That'll work. Um, okay, we go here. Let's do one more stack. I'm gonna make it a little bit more here. Here we go. Okay, we have that. That's pretty easy. So now when we go over to here. We need to get that. So we'll put that recipe in. So we'll get the the track that we need for our conveyor. It's again. It's a little slow, and that's because of my. I'm running this on my computer rather than running it through a server. So. Is that all we get? Just going as much as I can here. Because I won't be using it for anything else. Okay. So there we have all the track. Let me put that into the system here. Okay, now let's go and get some uh what are these rollers? Iron rollers just takes iron ingots. Well we should have a lot of iron ingots. Let's get a bunch of these. There we go. Okay. And then that will give us the slow conveyor. That should be plenty for us. We only need a few. So we got more than enough. Okay. So that's the plan. We're going to do this, get it all set up, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, if you are liking this video and you're liking Foolcraft, please hit that like button. My viewership has gone down on both Foolcraft and Tinker World. Uh, my subscriber rate has also declined so um, in fact i've lost some subscribers recently and I, i'm sure it's because i haven't done as much with the full craft because i've been having the issues but uh, anything you can do to help me out that would be great the likes are very important letting people know that you know you know uh get the word out spread the word get the uh, social media army out and maybe we can get some uh movement going again i really do appreciate that i enjoy doing this but if no one's really watching and, and, and observing and having fun with it with me, um, doesn't make it as quite as much fun. So I appreciate it, all, all the uh, support you've given me. Okay, let me I'll go get a couple of things and we'll uh, start this process. All right, the first thing I want to do is I want to take out the upper two blocks here. I'm going to have this block be normal and then glass up here. So I want the conveyors to be kind of at eye level. So, wow, never heard that sound before. That's kind of cool. Interesting. I never did knew that was there. It's probably something they've added new with the uh, latest upgrade. Okay. Now, um, after this, we're going to make... See, this layer is going to be here, so we need to go at least one more in and do this here. Get this all done. Wow, it's not as fast as the other one, but that's okay. That probably can stay there. I'm not sure if the conveyors cover up and, and make it look right. But this wall back here, I want to be the regular old background of that uh, material we just mined, the, the 
factory block. So we're going to put that in just to make it look right. So let's put that in really quick. It shouldn't take very long at all. <laughs> that sound just kind of makes, makes me laugh. I didn't hear that the whole time I made my actual base. If I had heard that before, that would be crazy. Now, how are these? Are these situated? Are they going away from you when you put them down? Or are they going away from you? Okay. That's what I needed to know. So, basically, I'm going to put a block. There's In the center line right here, this block will represent where the furnace goes. And what I want to have is there's going to be some sort of like a hopper, which will take the output. So, I want all of these to kind of go... Can I not put that there? No, I don't want that there. Okay, this is kind of crazy. But we want to put... Wow, just move me along. <laughs> just like that. Get off of there. Okay, so that's where the conveyor is going to be. And we're going to have another conveyor here going this direction. Oops, not there. Not that one. Man, I hit the wrong buttons here everywhere. And so some sort of uh, hopper or something will be over here that will pick up the items and and uh, put them into like an output storage we have outside. So I need to figure this out now is what do I need to do for the rest of this. There we go. So I need to find some way of getting stuff in and dropping and putting pushing over here. I think that's the first step. So let me uh, make a plan for that. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a chest here. The thing is going to be dumping out into a dropper, which I want to have right above here. So I really need to get this part set up first, the dropper mechanism. So we're going to get up in here and take a look at what's going on. And that was really, really loud. Okay, so I want the dropper to be right there facing downward, right here. Let me see if I can get a better position to do this. It's awesome. Wow, it's a big storm outside, apparently. Okay, so there's our dropper. It'll be dropping the items over onto the conveyor, which will take them into the over into the furnace. Okay, so now we need to make the system where it actually does the work. So I'm gonna put a block down here. Actually, I'll put a I'll do it on this side here. No, I need to have a side. This is where the side will feed into it. So I'm gonna use this side over here. Let me get some more space so I can get back down. Um, this side over here is where it's going to feed in um, the power the block for it. So let me put a block down. Okay. And now let's dig out some distance here. What I need to do is I need to slow it down. Then I'm going to use the regular clock. Wow, that's annoying. I'm going to use the regular clock circuit that I use, but I'm going to add a few repeaters, set the four ticks of delay so that it makes it go a little bit slower. Okay, so let's see here. Let's get our comparators out. And we're going to put a comparator down here. That's not a comparator. Okay, and then I want to have three repeaters set to four ticks. And that just makes me know I need to go a little further here. Apparently, there's some space down there. Get some cobble here. Okay, there's a thing there out in the way. Okay, so let me uh, light this place up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Now the basic circuit, you've seen this in my other videos, but basically this goes all the way around and into the comparator on this side. And then on this side, there's another repeater going into the block. Okay. So now, if I put some items in here, it drops at a slow rate. Let's see if I can change that. Is that ambient environment? Is there a weather one? Yeah, let's keep the weather off. Okay. I don't know how why that works that way, but you can see this will drop at a slow rate, and then it will go all the way over like that. That's the first step. Now, what we have to do is we also have to get a chest in here and get the output of the chest going into where we want it to go. I'm going to put the chest right here in the corner, so I'm going to go into this a little bit, and then we're going to go up and then over into the dropper. Let's see if I can see it up here. 
There's the dropper. Okay, so let's start to get some item conduits going here. It's going to go there, and that is should be input or insert. Okay, and we'll go over here. Let me put another torch up there just in case. Okay, and it comes down. Get out. Can I get out now? No, of course not. I tell you, I just everything's not helping for me today. Okay, so we're gonna put right here and right here, and it's gonna come out, and we're gonna have the chest right here. There we go. Okay, let me get some more space here. So this here is gonna be extract, always active. And there we go. So now I need to see to hide this area up and then this should be feeding into it. So you can see that this is stopped, completely stopped up there. So now if I put in, let's say I put in three redstone. There's the redstone. And so it would normally drop out and fall and go onto our conveyor. That looks great. Seems like it's gonna work really nice. Okay, so let's kind of close this up a little bit. I see, I don't like how it, how that looks, so we're gonna go back in there just for a second here and see if we can uh, change out some of these blocks for this uh, factory block. Just to make it look a little bit better when you're looking in. So it looks a little bit nicer there. Okay, I think that's good. So now this conveyor part will work really nice. So now I can just start to seal this up here. Again, remember there's gonna be glass in front of this and I'll also change this out before we're done. So now I have to figure a way to get this into a furnace system right here and then we're gonna work on the output. For this next step, I wanna have the furnace right here. So let's get that set up really quick here. I have another one of these ultimate furnaces. So <laughs> there goes the piece. Now behind here, I'm going to have, I think I'm going to have the hopper um, going so that I have a way of gathering this information, or information, gathering this uh, item and putting it into something. So if I have a hopper here, and this is just a temporary thing, it's going into that block. What happened? Can I put a, I'm curious, there's, okay, we have nothing in the hopper at the moment. Can I put a conveyor over top of it and will it pull it out oh, wrong way? Oh, let's see, let's go over here. Okay, there's nothing in it except for that, which will pull back out. Let me check this out. This is something I want to know. Um, so we want to go that way. Why did it do it that? That's weird. Oh, do I have to put it closer to me? Let's see if I go, if I go close to me. That's weird. Let's do it from this side then. I thought it always went away from you. So why is it doing that? That's the question. Because all of these were going away from you. So let's try. Uh, I don't know. Um, this one, let's see. I want to go. Basically, I want to go into there. I want to turn the corner. See, that's not right. If I do it really close to the edge here. Let's just do some tests here. Close to the edge there, maybe go this way, but if I do far edge, see it's doing the same thing. So if I do it over here, will that make it turn then? Okay. Now see, it did that. Now I want to keep going this way. Okay. Now let's check this out. If there's nothing in the hopper at all, and let's put something up here. Let's see if it goes into the hopper, if the hopper picks it up off of the conveyor. Okay, so let's put something right here. See if we go around the corner and down. Oops. <laughs> okay, so did it pick that up? It did. It picked those up. So that's what I'm going to do. That's going to be bringing the items in into the hopper. Now, we're going to have to figure out how to get this over into the top, which will probably use some sort of item conduit, top of the furnace. Let me figure that out. All right, here we go. Right here, this is the center line. I'm standing on the center line. What I want is the furnace, I had it in line with the conveyor. I'm gonna put it back one. So we're gonna put it right here. 
Okay, and that's because um, that way we can hide uh, the the conduit going down in. So as you see here, I can do that, and that way the conduit will be behind these blocks. Okay. So now what do we have to do? Well, we have to get the item conduit coming down. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. Maybe not. We'll have to do a little bit more here. Let's see here. Let's put that. Of course, I could probably put this whole thing like this. Right? That'll look okay. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so the item conduit's gonna come out. And it's gonna go up and around. So let's make this uh, do that. We're gonna put another block here. Okay, so let's put the item conduit together. Okay, so we're gonna go into here. It's extract. Always active. Go then go up. Now can we see that from this side? So you can see that pocket. So what we'll do is we will just fill that in. Okay. Um, and we'll come over and go onto the top of here. There we go. So here we go. Like this. And that should right there. I'm going to say insert. You go into the top when you want the material that you want to be um, worked with. Okay, so that should work. You can see that's working pretty well. It's going in a conveyor. So now what we can do is we can take, like, say, for instance, this three copper here. Uh, let's go and try to throw it out there and make sure that works. So it's... that one didn't make it on there. <laughs> anyway, you got one in there, and it should hit the conduit and be uh, plugged into here. There's the one. Okay, so that's going to work. So then I'm going to, have to get a way to get fuel into here on the back. But we're going to do an output, and the output will go then out of this and into another dropper, which will do the same thing. So we're going to have some glass right here, kind of like a divider, and glass over here. So this whole side is done. Let's go get some glass and get that looking right. This will be pretty easy. So we need some glass. Clear glass. There we go. Okay. And that's what it is. Now, do I put two there? Yeah, I probably could. I could probably put two so that we can see everything going on. Like that. And that's the uh, first part of the system. So, we put in the three items here. It's kind of slow. Goes around the corner and it goes into the furnace. There we go. Three of them right ready to go. Now let's go and check that out. I gotta go back here to see it. There they are. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna work on doing the dropper up here. I'm not gonna show you that on camera since it's just like this one. Same idea, I'm gonna put the dropper in and get the timing set up so it's gonna be dropping. I realized I just said I was gonna work on the dropper, but I think the best thing to do right now is to work on getting the coal into the system. Um, what I need to do is, over here is where my conduit is for the uh, the item storage, the, the refined storage, is feeding into these, and I need to run that around. So let's go find that here. So I need to run it. It's going to be going into this block right here. So we can kind of go this way a bit. Go around it, and we'll find it here. So it'll be right on here. You may want to go one more block back, but it should be coming up real soon. Oh, did I just get rid of my furnace? I did. <laughs> and I was using coal block, as you saw. So this wall right here, that's what I need to take out so we can get the line going all the way back. So let's get this hooked up. Okay, first of all, i got to fix what I just broke, which was this piece right here. Let's take out this wall so I can get to it. Okay, so I had a furnace... I don't know where it went. It's down there. Oh, I can't get through there. Give me that. Okay, there we go. So this was the furnace that I had set up for this. And it was right here. Okay. And you can see it's already working. It's bringing in coal blocks. Okay, so let's repair this now. This wall that I destroyed. There we go. So that was what I was working on before, and that was the auto smelting machine. Um, now I could, I could tie this line in here and take this out completely. Maybe I should do that. So that this line here is going and feeding into the other system. But now nah, we'll just keep what we're doing here. So I want to run this line right here. This is a uh, cable 
all the way over. So let's uh, get out there and get some cable, and we're going to do this real quick. I should have a lot of cable, actually. Yeah, I got a bunch. Make sure, let's just get uh, two stacks of that. That should be fine. And we're going to need an exporter, because we're going to export from the system over to what we have here. Okay, there we go. So let's run this around here really quick. So he's gonna, this is our conduit. So it's like, I can say conduit, it's really a cable. <laughs> We're gonna run this over to the coal area of the refined, or the furnace. Okay, now I'm gonna jump up here and then go over. And right in the back here of this is the other furnace, I'm gonna put the exporter. Okay, now you can put a filter in here, and I'm going to just say filtering it by that. Okay, so now, of course, I can't get out because of what I just did, because I'm a dummy. <laughs> we'll have to go up and over here. Um, but anyway, we have a way to get through here. And we'll get through, and we'll make the uh, system. Let's make sure the coal's coming in. So coal should be running into here, and it's not. So why not? The exporter, type items, whitelist. It's going into the back of it. That should be fuel. Why is it not filling up? OK, we're going to check out this one really quick here. It's an exporter. Did I grab the wrong thing? Did I grab an importer? Oh, external storage. I got a, I did grab the wrong thing. I need to get an exporter. I grabbed external storage. We even have an exporter. Didn't look like an exporter. No, I don't see it. Let's see if we can find it. Export. That's what we need right there. Okay. Grab the wrong thing, people. I make mistakes here and there, too. Just like everybody. Okay, so we put that in the right there. Excellent. Then we put, say, export into that coal blocks. There we go. Okay, that's working. So now I'm going to do the dropper mechanism and get that ready to go. And then we'll do the end part, which is getting this whole thing sorted out. So let me get that dropper done. All right. So the dropper is in place. It'll drop it down. This will take it all the way over this way. And it's going to take it over into the wall. We're going to have a chest here. So let's put that down right now so we know where it goes. It's going to go right here. That's the output chest. Okay. Now, this whole section here, we're going to replace with some uh, factory blocks. Make it look a little bit nicer so that when we seal it up, it looks right. Okay. Now, we're going to go into this. We're going to feed it into an item conduit. And on this wall right here, in this spot right here, will be the hopper. So it should be right here. Let's put this, uh, let me put a block down really quick and grab the hopper into that there we go okay and we can just put another empty block doesn't matter what it is right here and then we got to put two conveyors going across the hopper and that's not the way it's supposed to go don't know why it's doing that I can't figure out these uh these conveyor belts, it's how to place them correctly. It should just work. But there we go. Okay, so this is like a little pocket where it's going to be coming into. So then what we're going to do is we're going to make it so it looks right and close it up. So it's going to be blocks there. Okay, there's going to be blocks there. Excellent. So that'll be the way it kind of looks. Let's put in some glass. So you can see here, we put items in, it goes over, it goes across, it gets cooked by the furnace. When it goes across, after it drops out, it comes across here, and it goes into our chest. So we have a block here. Nope, over here, this block looked too far. <laughs> let's see here, let's get rid of the space. I need to have a torch down here to make sure I get things lit. So let's uh, put a block down, let's put a torch on top of it. Okay, this right here is where we want to have the item conduit. So let's get that in place right away. Right here, it's extract, always active. 
bring it into the chest. And this should be, if I can get click on it, there we go, insert. Okay. So there we go. Now let's make this look a little bit nicer back here. Um, you can still kind of see this wall, but we'll kind of put stuff over it. Kind of uh, just hide it a little bit. You see, you can still see some of that flooring down there. So let's just see if I can get rid of that too. Oh, and of course I ran out of factory block. That's just the way it goes with what I've been doing lately. Got the factory block, grab the chisel. Chisel it into what we need. Here we go. Excellent. Okay, put that down here. Okay, now it's going to be kind of hard to enclose all of this. But there we go. Oops. And that should be the system. So we've got the output already in there. So I have in here with me, I have three copper ores. So the system should work here really quick. We put three copper ores in. There's one. There's two. Furnace kicked up right away. And there's the copper bars coming out. Goes over. Goes into here and it should be in here. There they are. So the system is working fantastic. I really like this. This is a great idea. Um, I would like to thank the user who uh, submitted this to me. I didn't write down the name. I apologize. Uh, I'll try to find that and maybe make a comment in the uh, comments or the description saying uh, who it was that suggested this. But this is a very just a quick little thing to do. Um, it just shows you that you can be kind of creative. If you really get some ideas. Um, so yeah, this is great. I don't think I have any ores that I can use right at the moment. Let's look for up for ore. I don't see any like ore that's like normal, it's like copper or whatever. So yeah, this works great. I appreciate that. Um, thanks everybody. So if you like this video, please click that like button. It helps me so much. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. If you'd uh, like to be notified of videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.